a former Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo, another potential candidate, is blasting murdered Washington Post columnist Jamal Khashoggi. In his new book, Never Give an Inch, Fighting for the America I Love, Pompeo writes, the media made Khashoggi out to be a Saudi Arabian Bob Woodward who was martyred for bravely criticizing the Saudi royal family through his opinion articles in the Washington Post. Pompeo, who is a potential candidate, as I say, in 2024, mocks the media's portrayal of Khashoggi and diminishes his credentials, writing, he didn't deserve to die, but we need to be clear about who he was, and too many in the media were not. Joining us now is David Ignatius, foreign affairs columnist for The Washington Post, a friend and close colleague of Jamal's. And we also have a statement from Fred Ryan, of course, the publisher and CEO of The Washington Post, saying, it is shocking and disappointing to see Mike Pompeo's book so outrageously misrepresent the life and work of Washington Post columnist Jamal Khashoggi. It is shameful that Pompeo would spread vile falsehoods to dishonor a courageous man's life and service. So you knew Jamal very well. What is your reaction? Mike Pompeo, I should point out, is not just a former Secretary of State. And Secretary of State, when the decision was made by the Trump administration not to reveal the CIA's conclusion that MBS, the de facto leader of Saudi Arabia, was responsible for ordering and permitting the brutal murder, the butchering of Jamal Khashoggi. But he was also the former CIA director. David? So, Andrea, I agree with I agree with my publisher, Fred Ryan, in the statement that, that you just read. It's shocking and, and disappointing. It's also hypocritical. Mike Pompeo says in the book, I read it this morning to get ready for our conversation, the following. And I just would ask viewers to, to pay attention. This is what Mike Pompeo writes. This grotesque butchery referring to the murder of my colleague, Jamal Khashoggi, was outrageous, unacceptable, horrific, sad, despicable, evil, brutish, and, of course, un unlawful. So Pompeo himself makes the case uh, that a, a terrible crime was committed here. Uh, he, he says that uh, th there's no direct evidence linking uh, Mohammed bin Salman, the, the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, to the, to the crime. That's not fundamentally different from what, what the CIA has said. It, it says that MBS gave the order for the operation, uh, which, is, which is pretty much this, the same thing. I, I can't help but think that Pompeo wants to pick a fight with the media. Uh, he's running for president. He knows that the Trump base loves uh, fights between uh, Trump and, and now Pompeo and, and the media. But it's gratuitous and, and it contradicts the very words that Pompeo uses himself to describe what happened in this murder. This, uh, use his words, this grotesque butchery. So I wish I wish Pompeo uh, had stuck with what he knows, which was a, a terrible crime was committed here. Jamal Khashoggi wasn't a perfect person. No, nobody is. No, 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 no journalist would, would claim to be perfect in every way. That's not the issue. The issue is he was he was murdered in a brutal way. As as Pompeo says, he was chopped to pieces, hacked to bits in Istanbul. And the former Secretary of State chooses, uh, to, I think, to, to kind of uh, make a fight uh, for political reasons with the news media. And to say that he was a Khashoggi, was a Saudi Arabian Bob Woodward, to say that dismissively, well, being a Bob Woodward is a pretty special thing. David Ignatius, thank it's you. It's special. Jamal never claimed to be Bob Woodward, exactly.